So we need to get all this uh, support material off. So if I was printing it again, I would, you can manually edit the support material in Simplify 3D. I wouldn't bother to put it in these uh, pockets for the pegs because it's, I could easily bridge this. So that's not annoying. I'll get that out later, but this other stuff is kind of just peeling off. The legs are pretty strong, unlike the tail. So maybe you can just peel them off with your fingers. Yeah, so this is on the inside, so you wouldn't notice as much, like they said. And the outside looks pretty cool, pretty uh, nicely defined and so forth. So let's get this one off. This one's a little bit bigger over here. So we can get this off without hurting the tail. So you can see the S pattern. It's clearly S pattern. Get some pliers. All right, this one is yeah, this one needs to come out. So. Yeah, it came out pretty easily. Leg flexed a little bit, but it didn't didn't uh, break it. I mean, see to get these uh, pay these whole support behind kind of these holes. And that's the way to do it. out or else the pegs won't fit properly so we're gonna want some more in a minute let's do this so I flexed it around this and I grabbed it with my pliers see if that works again yeah I grabbed with the pliers and twisted it and then it came out pretty easily so I need to push away from the sides the pliers, twist. Alright, so this side looks good. And there's still some support material there on the bottom of this one, so. I got it out. All right, so then we put our pegs in. I don't know why, why did I print four pegs? That doesn't make any sense. I should have only printed two pegs. I'm not sure why that project had four pegs. They're all the same length, so I'm not sure what's going on with that. I'm not, I'm not gonna put any glue on this yet. We'll just try to squish it together and see basically what it looks like. Okay, well, it's got a seam, so when we glue, we'd have to clamp it. But then when it's done, yeah, see, there's no, there's no, nothing at the front, and we'd have to clamp this pretty strongly to get this to close up. Yeah. Yeah, so probably maybe a little higher bed temperature, because this looks like it flexed up. So this didn't adhere to the bed ex ex perfectly well, so... A little higher bed temperature. Back on the tail doesn't matter because it's flexible, but this is a lot stiffer up here. You can still glue it and clamp it with a clamp, and it would probably be fine. Good stick together. Yeah. So compare that to this one. If you look at the top of this one, it's got all this rough stuff on it from the uh, support material. And again, like I said, we can adjust that. We could make it so it's a little farther away and then probably wouldn't have as much problems. And of course, the tail wasn't really well supported, so it broke off when I was uh, taking it off the uh, bed. So. so I would say the split split version is superior uh, with the caveat that I should use a little higher bed temperature to uh, make it flatter so it wouldn't flex up like this. Like I said, I think I can fix that. 
If I clamp this hard enough with uh, super glue, it should uh, stick together. So we're going to try that and then we'll finish up by seeing after I glue it together. I'm using this Loctite uh, super glue professional and we're going to put a lot on there, especially around the head. Head and the tail. It's got a few seconds here to get it to uh, on here. We'll stick it together. And we'll clamp it. So these are these spring clamps. All right, so we just need to hold this for about a minute, and then we'll should be able to stick it. Should be able to stick together. Okay. All right, it's been a minute, so I'm gonna take the tail off first because I'm afraid that might break again. So we get that one off. Get the hind quarters off. The center off. The front head off. Or the back of the head off, and then the front of the head. All right, so the front head stuck together pretty well. So I can put some more glue on it and uh, and uh, clamp it some more from the bottom this time. There. The rest of it's together pretty well. The tail stuck together. So it's got a seam. You can buy a filler, which will fill this in. You could also get a 3D printing pen, which will extrude a little a bead of filament. You could take the same filament, fill it in with that filament, and then sand it down afterward. That's probably what I would do if I was going to spend more time on this than I'm going to. This is just a test, test print, and it's just to see what different ideas of how to print things that need support. We'll come back when the minute's up and we'll see. All right, minute's up. Let's see if it sticks together. So, still not sticking together that great. I'll leave it clamped overnight, but let's just wrap this up. So, uh, we printed it two different ways on its side. The first time we printed it, we didn't use supports with the legs. Obviously, that failed. So, that was a, that was a bad mistake. Uh, the second time we printed it with supports, and the supports were on the inside of the legs. So you don't notice it very much. And the top looks nice and smooth and clean. Whereas on the one that was printed upside down, this is the printed upside down, this way, this is the print bed here. It does do a lot of bridging here. So it does bridging and it um, has a completely different texture. Now this could be sanded down and maybe it would look fine. Probably would actually. You could sand all this down and uh, we get rid of some of that bridging look. I think, but to print it this way, I'd have to make it a bigger, at least 50% bigger, because the tail was just too fragile and broke off. This is, this is just too fragile of a connection. Let's print it that way, so. All right, that's our uh, Fila Cube PLA2 black, and it's very similar to the gray, so we're printing with the same parameters. In the cold temperatures, we're printing at 248 and 30, Again, this one could have probably done could have probably done better with uh, maybe 35 or 40, uh, but uh, um, if you're printing something that doesn't need to be this have this kind of profile, then uh, you can print at lower temperature, easier to get off. 
and uh, in warm temperatures we're printing it at 230 with 30 degree uh, bed temperature. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up. Post a comment if you have any questions or ideas and I'll try to respond. That's all for now but more videos are coming and if you want to see them please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification icon if you don't want to miss one. This is Beta Signy signing out and keep looking up.